hello guys uh, how are you guys today osha standard related some information will be discussed here the first one is uh, osha uh, the abbreviation of osha occupational safety and health administration uh, number two what is competent person a person who is capable uh, of identifying existing and predictable hazards uh, in the surroundings or work uh, areas uh, where uh, work activities ongoing uh, CFR code of federal regulation is the codification system for the rules and regulations uh, next one is <clears throat> OSHA uh, safety standards uh, usually there are uh, four uh, OSHA safety standards number one general industry standard uh, construction safety standard uh, agriculture uh, safety standard and uh, uh, marine safety standard uh, <clears throat> general industry is, uh, standard was introduced in 19, 1910 construction safety standard was introduced in 1926 uh, there are some sub uh, parts of uh, OSHA standards uh, under each part uh, such as part 19 10 uh, block uh, blocks information uh, is here the major uh, supports in the 1910 standards include uh, sub part D sub part D uh, is related to walking working su surfaces sub part E means of aggress sub part f uh, powered platforms man lifts and vehicle mounted uh, work platforms sub part g occupational health and environment environmental control sub part h hazardous materials sub part i personal protective equipment sub part j general environmental controls subpart k medical and first aid subpart l fire protection subpart m compressed gas and compressed air equipment subpart n materials handling and storage subpart o machinery and machine guarding subpart p hand and portable power tools and other handheld equipment subpart q welding cutting and brazing subpart r special industries subpart s electrical subpart z uh, toxic and hazardous substances uh, OSHA standards uh, as uh, are known uh, the rules uh, which uh, employer follows to protect the employees uh, from the hazards and accidents uh, at workplace. So these OSHA standards are based on uh, three uh, sources. Number one, uh, consensus uh, standards. Uh, number two, uh, proprietary uh, standards. And number three, uh, federal laws. So I will discuss now number one consensus uh, standards. Uh, uh, these are developed by industry wide standard developing organizations and are discussed uh, within the industry. Uh, uh, industry and organization introduces uh, uh, two primary standards groups uh, which are uh, the part of consensus standards number one american national standard institute nz and uh, second is national fire protection association nfpa or uh, the set of standards uh, number two proprietary standards uh, these are uh, prepared by uh, professional experts uh, within specific industries, uh, professional societies, and associations. So, uh, 
these uh, proprietary proprietary standards uh, are determined by a uh, state membership vote uh, not by consensus uh, an example is the compressed gas uh, association number 3 uh, is the federal laws uh, federal uh, some uh, pre existing federal laws are enforced by osha including the uh, federal supply contracts uh, federal service contracts act uh, the contract of worker hazards and safety standards act the national foundation on the arts and humanity humanities act uh, standards issued under these acts are now enforced in all industries uh, where they apply so these were the three uh, sources of osha standards so now i will discuss uh, workplace inspection authority to inspect <clears throat> an officer uh, which has authority to uh, inspect uh, number 1 he is authorized to enter without delay at any reasonable times uh, where he will make the inspection uh during uh, inspect and investigate during uh, regular working hours and at other reasonable times and within reasonable limits and in a reasonable manners inspection priorities uh, osha has established a system of inspection priorities number 1 imminent danger uh, imminent danger situations are given top priorities uh were expected to cause death or serious uh, physical harm immediately uh were permanent or prolong prolonged damage uh, to the body uh were uh, temporary disability uh, uh or uh, a part of a body uh, is crushed or uh, severe uh, an arm leg or finger is amputated uh, <clears throat> or sight in one or both eyes is lost so these are the imminent 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 con danger conditions uh, where we uh, make the inspection on priority basis uh, number 2 <clears throat> cata catastrophes and fatal accidents uh, second priority is given to investigation Uh, of uh, facilities and catastrophes resulting in hospitalization uh, of uh, three or more uh, employees uh, such situation must be reported to osha by the employer within 8 hours investigations are made to determine if uh, osha standards were violated and to avoid uh, uh, reoccurrence of similar accidents number 3 employee complaints Uh, third priority is given to employee complaints of alleged violation of standards or of unsafe uh, or on healthful working conditions number 4 pro programmed high hazard inspections next uh, in priority are uh, uh, planned uh, inspections aimed uh, at specific high hazard industries Uh, occupations or health uh, substances number 5 follow up inspections a follow up inspection uh, determines whether uh, previously cited violations have uh, corrected 